And tonight is the fundraising banquet. Go, go attack today, huh? Have a little motivation. Go attack today. Do you want me to do it again? Yes! <laughs> Good morning, everybody, and welcome to today's vlog. I am on my way back from setting up for um, tonight's banquet. So as you guys know, Ryan is a member of Young Life, which is a youth organization. And tonight is the fundraising banquet. And I was just over there at the church setting up um, for the banquet with like probably, I don't know, 10 other moms and the leaders of Young Life. So it looks like it's going to be wonderful. My parents are coming tonight. Mike was supposed to be able to join us, but now he can't. He had to go um, back up to Maryland for work. So he's going to miss it, which makes me very sad. But it's very exciting. Um, Ryan's looking forward to it, and it's nice. And especially being down here and being new, um, I really haven't had the opportunity to meet a lot of other people. So it's nice to meet some of the parents and the moms. Um, from Young Life. So I'm on my journey, my, my friend finding journey down here. So if you guys have any tips, let me know. Um, it's nice to, um, like, you know, go, like in Maryland, you know, when we had, like, we had met people through work and that kind of junk, like when I worked in an office before we did YouTube. And um, then we would meet people through the kids, like, events like their activities and school and everything in neighborhood but now the neighborhood we live in doesn't really have a lot of kids and I only have one child in school and he's in high school so you don't normally meet the parents you know it's not like play dates and baseball games and that kind of thing anyway so um, if you have any tips on how to meet other parents now I did join a Bible study and I have the, the met some young life parents and um, I'm probably going to join some stuff in my neighborhood, but again, it's finding that time to do that, but I'm going to. So anyway, that's it. That's all I have for you. So Ryan's at school. Mike is on an airplane on the way to Maryland right now, and I'm going to go home and make myself a salad, which I'm very excited about, and um, finish up some work, and then get ready to go to the banquet tonight. Also, I have a recipe that I'm dying to make. Maybe I'll share it with you. If I do it today, I don't know if I'm going to have a chance to do it today, but it's for this artisan rosemary bread. I've never made homemade bread before, other than like sweet breads. I've never made homemade bread, so I'm um, very eager to try this one. I bought all the ingredients, yeast and everything. <laughs> I've never made yeast bread. If you guys have any tips on that too, please let me know. All right, so stay tuned to find out what our day has in store. I hope you guys are having a fabulous day. It is a little overcast here, but still a gorgeous Florida day. Hi, what's up, you beauties? Just got home from school after an amazing weekend. Uh, Friday, football game. Uh, Saturday, a little grill out on the beach. Sunday, a little, little Sunday footy. It was absolutely crazy. The Chiefs lost, so I'm, I'm happy. Anyway, uh, it's Monday, so I got Young Life today. Uh, gonna be a whole bunch of fun. I'm actually gonna leave for that in a second. I'm getting picked up for that in like a couple of minutes. I just wanna go run a little Young Life. We got a little banquet going. And uh, it's actually not a lot of work for the kids. It's actually just to tell the parents about what Young Life is about. So the kids just kind of ball out. I might just bring a football. We're going to bring like spike ball. Basically just going to go have fun with my friends. Um, I'll stop by the golf course today to see about some job opportunities. Because we do live on a golf course and I golf here all the time. And I already know everyone. Because uh, actually my pet and my grandpa golfed here before we even moved down here. And uh, so once they heard I was, you know, his grandson, they all, you know, took a liking to me. So I already know some people over there. That was the people that were working. Me and my friend Ethan went over, stopped by, saw about jobs. And then, um, so yeah, got home, beat Ethan in Madden. It's really fun playing Madden. I love playing Madden against Brendan, but none of the kids here can beat me. Though they have not lost once in Madden. So that's refreshing. Or 2K. I want to feed you in 2K here too. Anyway, so, um, if you're in the Florida area and you want the smoke in either Spikeball, 2K, or Madden, literally hit me up. Anyway, a uh, little Monday Night Footy predictions. The Chargers are playing the Broncos. It's going to be so much fun to watch. I have the Chargers, obviously. Huge Chargers fan here. I have the Chargers, obviously. I've been a lifelong Chargers fan, and uh, the boys are going to get it done today. How about those G-Men? I mean, I know you guys might not care about football. The New York Football Giants are a team to watch. I love Brian Dable. Anyway, uh, Chargers are gonna go crazy on Thursday night footy here. We're gonna uh, we're gonna go rip some some young life. Come back, watch the game, 
Have just an extraordinary Monday. Go, go attack the day, huh? Have a little motivation. Go attack the day. Who cares if it's Monday? Monday have, being a bad day is a label. Actually, Mondays aren't, aren't bad for me because I have young life. But respect your Mondays. Anyway, that's a little rant. Uh, thanks for listening. See you guys. So we are just about set up for our evening. All the tables are set up and lit. The caterers are setting up over there. We have some musicians that are practicing. We are just about ready to start receiving our guests. This is my table. I'm table 14 with Nan and Pap. Mike was going to be here, but I couldn't because he had to go back to look at that, all kinds of people yelling, yelling, yelling out uh, commands. Anyway, table 14, and Mike cannot, could not be here because he had to go back to Maryland for work unexpectedly, but that's good. Good news. And then this is, there's some pictures. Let me see if Ryan's in there. Is Ryan in that picture? No, but these are pictures of some of the NYFOX friends. <laughs> Did they root for oh, you? I missed it. I came to film you. Did oh. they cheer for you when you walked in? Do so you want me to do it again? Yes! <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. 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 pressures on them at school and uh, pressures to succeed and I feel like at the Life Club they can just let all of that go and experience true joy. Every summer we have the opportunity to take kids to Young Life Camp somewhere in the south. This is an awesome experience and the best week of their lives and it still is the best week of my life. <laughs> I have led here for seven years. I've got to see transformation in uh, so many kids' lives. Uh, we're gonna love on kids here, regardless of their response. Even if a kid doesn't want to do anything with Jesus or be affiliated uh, with God or Young Life, we're still gonna love them exactly uh, where they are.
As a parent and a leader, I have seen the incredible impact that Young Life has had, not only on my own kids, but all of my Young Life kids. Let there be hope, hope. pointing us close. Let there be love, hope. healing what is broken. We've made it home from our banquet, you guys. Um, we had such a good time at the banquet. Well, parents did. Ryan was backstage. Did you film it, was it so all? Fun. Uh, no. Uh, I was in Allison's vlog though, and we ran around. We threw the football. We just played spike ball. We, inside? No, 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 no. There was a little uh, elementary school playground. Oh, nice. And Brady said, "You want to make it really? You know what would make me really happy? You guys went out and played tag." I said, tag, you're it. When we started playing tag. <laughs> it was fun. That's awesome. Couldn't play tag in a minute. But yeah, it was fun just to be with everyone. And you know, it was really fun until the Chargers game started and then it got stressful. Mm. But uh, okay. that's what made me happy today. Okay. What, uh, oh, going to the Young Life. Doing the Young Life thing. Yes, that's what made me happy today to you guys. It was... Oh, all right. Sorry. Ryan has to listen. Chris, to Chris Berman's going to talk a little bit about football. But what made me happy today... I'm going to go in your bedroom, right, guy? Definitely was um, the banquet. It was so much fun going and setting up and um, and then actually having the banquet itself and having my parents there and get to see sort of a little bit of um, a little view into what Ryan's life has been like since we've been here. And I know I talk about Young Life a lot, but we are, um, as as it's the Donnellys and what we do, we're very committed to helping um, grow strong, healthy families and strong, healthy people. And Young Life, it, their mission is about changing lives. And I couldn't agree with it more. Like, it, we're so committed to that. And especially at the age of these teenagers, it's such a crucial time. So um, we are very much committed to that. So it was so great to be there and basically sharing the same mission uh, as the folks at Young Life. So anyway, that was really fun. And just as an added bonus, um, I got to sit next to... Ryan's friend, Allison, who is also a vlogger. She, her channel is called Sisters Forever, I think, Sister Forever. And I sat next to her mom, and so we got to meet, which was really cool. So maybe we'll uh, get a chance. I guess Ryan will be in Allison's vlog for tonight. But Ryan doesn't think to vlog, but maybe I'll send him with a camera. Should I do that, you guys? Maybe I'll just give him a camera and have him, like, vlog. I mean, he has a phone. But maybe he had a camera in his hand. He'd think about it. I don't know. Whatever. Um, but I know what it's like, though. Like, you get so caught up in the moment that you forget to vlog. And then you're like, oh, shoot. <laughs> I got nothing. <laughs> Although we do stuff all the time. So, anyway, that's definitely what made me happy today. Michael made it safe to Maryland. And he is up there working. He'll be back in a few days. And it was such a pleasure to have my mom and dad with me, like I mentioned earlier. And to meet some friends. So, I, we met some new friends. We sat at the table. I, again, I met Allison's mom. I met some um, cute we had Ryan's friend Maddie's parents and Ryan's friend Lauren's parents. So it was really nice to be able to do that. So um, that's definitely what made me happy. And I'm, I talked to Katie and uh, for a little bit this afternoon, and I'm going to talk to her. She's finishing up her econ homework, economics homework. She's going to give me a call after that, so I can't wait to talk to her. I haven't talked to her in depth in a long time. Normally, normally she calls me like three times a day. So she misses home. I will tell you that. She misses home and wants to come home. Um so, but she can't this weekend because she has to work or gets to work the circus. And then the following weekend, we'll see her. We'll be up there. But um, she's got to the point where, you know, she hasn't been home since she went to college. Uh, we, she's seen us because we've been up there for parents weekend and... Was that it? Oh, and then we saw her at the wedding, but she hasn't been home. So she's definitely missing home. And I can totally understand that. So... I would love for her to be able to come, but she'll be she'll be home for Thanksgiving, so we'll see her then. All right, you guys, we hope you enjoyed today's vlog. Comment down below what made you guys happy today. We cannot wait to read it, and we will see you tomorrow. Bye. For the latest in Live Happy and It's the Donnelly's merchandise, visit shopitsthedonnelly's.com. Thanks for watching. 
Be sure to thumbs up and subscribe. See you later.